You guys enjoy that aspect of Martinsville, just the aggressiveness? Yeah, that's a that's an understatement. Last night was uh, <laughs> was wild, um, entertaining though. Hey, I mean, it made for made for great TV. So um, I enjoyed watching uh, for sure. But I don't know about being a part of it. But it was it, it was certainly fun to watch. But yeah, th this place can produce that. You know, look, it's a it's a short track. Um, you know, restarts can get wild. Guys can run in. You can get to somebody's bumper. Um, you know. The, the, the corners get so slow you have that opportunity so it uh, it can certainly lead down that road so something about night racing and and a short track typically gets pretty wild so I'm sure tonight will probably be no different so he likes it when he's watching it yeah, but so not necessarily no, when he's that's in what it. I was gonna say Chase I love watching all that controversy I just never wanted to be a part of it uh, the one thing about this year that we've seen with the new car is a lot of shifting and it started with the clash which i think kind of took all of us off guard or caught us off guard to see that on a short track last week at richmond we saw it again we actually saw you and some other drive drivers maybe run in fourth gear for a whole lap but i couldn't believe at martinsville not only in practice but we saw you guys shifting in qualifying so do you expect to shift every lap tonight and if that's the case What's the concern of the durability uh, of the car surviving that? And then also the mistake factor from a driver maybe late in the race. Yeah, I, I'm going to be really impressed if nothing breaks uh, tonight <laughs> for sure. So, I mean, you're shifting 1,600 plus times, right, you know, to a lap so, or for a lap. So, you know, it, uh, I, like I said, I'll be really impressed. We'll see. Uh, you know, we, we shifted a lot at the road courses, obviously. We shifted a lot at Phoenix, actually. Um, and everything seemed to be fine there, but I'm not sure we've we've shifted this much, and certainly not in between just two gears, you know. Um, and, and we're actually on the the side of the RPM range where if we were shifting in in qualifying, you're definitely going to be want to shifting, you know, want to be shifting in the race. You just, you know, I, I tried to run in fourth only, and you know, there in practice, and you just you don't have any get up and go. You just can't get up off the corner. So um, I think shifting is going to be a necessity to make pace. And until something breaks or somebody tells us we shouldn't do that, obviously I think everybody's going to, you know, choose the pace uh, 10 times out of 10 times. So we'll see, you know, tire management could become a factor, but the pace didn't really fall off much yesterday either. And, and it being cool tonight, I don't see that happening tonight either. So um, it'll be interesting and, and uh, I think we're all really and truly still learning. We, we were just in talking about it a minute ago, and I, I think we all kind of have the sensation that we might not 100% know what it's going to take to be successful, you know, here at lap 400 yet tonight. It's a bit of a bit of a guess right now for a lot of teams, and I think we're included in that. So we'll, uh, you know, hopefully make good adjustments and, and try to have a shot there at the end of 400. No, I watched that 50-something lap run you ran in practice. It was pretty impressive. Chase, you probably heard our conversation about Hendrick Motorsports. 26 yeah. wins at Martinsville with seven different drivers. You contributed with one of those back in November of 2020. Uh, you watched your dad race against this bunch. You've been part of this group now. In your, what makes this group so good at Martinsville, Virginia? Yeah, I have. I've been, you know, fortunate to be, you know, be a part of some of that success, a very small portion of it, um, but have been in the race, you know, when Jimmy's won a couple up here too. And, and I think a lot of it really, uh, just their history of, of being so successful here, I think it just, it kind of snowballs over the years. And when you have a good package somewhere, I think you're able to go into a new process like this new car has been and be able to take some of the ideas that have worked in the past and be able to apply them in the right way. Um, and their approach up here has been, you know, been solid for a long time. Does that mean it's going to work tonight? No, uh, it doesn't, doesn't guarantee that. I hope it does uh, for, for our sake, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Th this deal tonight, I think, is going to be uh, as big of a as big of a change as, as I've been a part of, for sure, uh, as far as the car and, and kind of what you need to be successful. So uh, you know, we, we tried to implement as many of the things that we felt like we did a good job with here in the past to this thing and, and to this weekend. And, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. If it works, great. And, and if not, we'll you know go back to work and, and try to make it better for the fall race. We talk about Hendrick Motorsports milestones, just 18 laps to 10,000 laps uh, tonight led for that team. Uh, you've got the perfect position to make that happen. Good luck keeping her out front, Chase. Yeah, thanks, guys. Y'all enjoy. Have fun. It's, uh, I think it's quit snowing. I think it's quit raining, <laughs> so it should be, uh, should be in good shape.
You guys are awesome meteorologists, by the way. We're just we're gonna give you we're gonna give you a little uh, a little button that says meteorologist. Thank you, Chase. There you go. Thanks. Take care. Uh, okay, Thank you. you said.